Clay's not even around the block a few years. What do you look for personally out of OTAs? Like, what, what are you trying to accomplish out here in the sun? Uh, we'll get my technique back. You know, uh, during the offseason, you don't really work technique drills. Uh, you know, before OTAs, you kind of just work on uh, conditioning and uh, getting your, like, power and uh, explosion and all that good stuff, you know, in the weight room. And uh, now when you get over to the field, you want to work on your technique. So you're almost like starting brand new again. But, you know, uh, it's just getting the feel for it again. And then just interacting with other guys, getting the feel for, you know, how they rush and stuff. You know, we have a lot of new guys on defense. So getting to uh, interact with Corey Redden and, uh, and uh, Corey Peters on the inside and seeing how we you know, can, you know, complement each other out there. You talked about, you know, vacation time and getting back into the swing of things. Did you have to be a little bit more extra on some guys today with their energy? Uh, it's so natural when you're, uh, you know, you're a four-day weekend to just get a little too relaxed, you know, and come back a little lackadaisical. And it did take a little while to get us going. But once we got going, I mean, we're such a good team. You know, we just got we can't have those moments where, you know, we start slow. And uh, going forward, I think that that's something I'm going to really preach, you know, when we come back from the weekend. There's a lot of talk about, you know, what you do this weekend? How was it? And all that good stuff at the beginning of practice. And, uh, you know, all the distractions. We can wait till after we're done when we're in the weight room, you know, and, uh, you know, while you're in between sets talking about all that good stuff. But on the field, but we're keeping football. How nice is it? New defensive coordinator, but yet you don't really have to learn a new defense. That's yeah. Not, that's not bad. Huh? That's not bad at all. You know, uh, I mean, everything's the same terminology. You know, uh, we added some things, took away some things, but, you know, it's pretty much uh, the same thing. So it's fun out here. We're having fun. The defense is, you know, gelling and, uh, you know, making a lot of plays. Our DBs are playing great right now. The team, you know, we have a lot of leaders, you know, uh, losing uh, Dockett and Dan Williams and, you know, Katrina Kamari, those guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, it happens. It's part of the game, and those guys, you know, were really good for the team the last couple of years. But um, you know, we have a lot of good leadership now. I mean, a lot of guys that were younger stepping up. I mean, Drop Powers, uh, you know, uh, Rashad Johnson. You know, done the list. And Corey Wright coming in as a natural leader. Frosty. You know, uh, I mean, we have a lot of guys. Even Sean Witherspoon is a guy that you. You know, it's very well spoken. So on the defense, you know, we're not we're not missing any leadership. You know, and what's your role in all that? Bruce has mentioned you. <laughs> well, you know, uh, my role is just uh, just continue to be me, be the best I can be, you know, uh, and make sure that uh, I'm just vocal when I need to and get down some young guys when I need to. But really, it's just lead by example and, and being the best player I can be on the field and lead, uh, lead by example is, uh, is always the best leaders.